Jack, I haven't done that yet. Alright guys, so today we're about to replace Cameron's brake pads, well, just the fronts. His brakes are completely gone. Whenever he presses the pedal, it just makes like grinding sounds and yeah, it's not good. So, he got the cheapest pads you can get from AutoZone. How much you pay for them? 20. 20 bucks, so there you go. Organic all the way, organic for the win. So we're gonna do a quick video on how to install them. Dude, what is that? This is my this, jack. I've never seen one like that. Huh. That's how it works. Yeah, good auto zone. Is that is that even tall enough? I guess it is. It came in the car. It's not lifted, so. Alright guys, so we just took the front the driver's side front wheel off and I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't want to make it a better shot. There is absolutely no pad left. So right there is his rotor, and right there is his brake pad. Well, there's where should be the brake pad. So, yeah, take this thing off now. All right, so to do this, you should only have to take off two bolts. So there's only two bolts holding the caliper on there. I'm gonna go ahead and take those off. We might have to take off more, I don't know yet. So, it's not my car. I don't know either. Is it moving? No, do this. You spin it the wrong way? Yeah, dude, you're going clockwise. Right to your left, too, let's see. Yeah. I'm going left. No. You're pushing down, right? So it's you're going left. clockwise. That's right. Okay. I'm telling you, bro, that always confuses me. Uh, so, you gotta use the bitch bar. Thanks, man. No, 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 that's not how you do it. You put it on in there, and then use the torque. There you go. You have to really pull that shit. Now, if you move the bar farther down on the rent, on the socket, on the ratchet, my bad. Dude, you try this. It's not moving. Yeah. Like these are welded on here, dude. Uh, it is tight. I think they've ever come they off. They haven't been taken off probably since the day you got it. This car is 2002, so. There you go, bitch. Oh. I'm sick, do this shit. The farther, like, the more, like, uh, travel you have when you're turning it, the more torque you got. The more power you have. So. Your rotors kind of need to be replaced. Not now. <laughs> They're glazed really bad. Yep. I know, dude. I mean,. At least we got the um talking about right here. Yeah, like look look at that. Like it looks like the rings of siren right there. <laughs> yeah. It's not supposed to be like that. It's okay. supposed to be smooth. Basically like it's supposed to be like this right there. But instead it's all choppy and shit. So I mean it'll smooth out again. Hopefully. So I think it will. The guy told me once I got the new brake pads that it should all be fine. You might have to wiggle it a little bit. There you go. That's it. There's your rotor. That's upside down. Alright. Now we should be able to do this. Maybe not. I don't know. So what? we might have to take the caliper more apart. I'm not sure yet. Alright, so usually on your calipers there is a uh, spring at the takeoff. So on the forerunner, it's just this little thing right here. And just pull that shit out. Kind of hard to with one hand. Got it. All right, now uh, these little poles should pop out. See what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Okay, remember how this goes. Well, we're recording it, so we can always go back and look at the video. Yeah. But, so. This shit just. Here, you're about to like break my hand. So let's take a look at your pig pads real quick. Dude, there's nothing on them. Yeah. That's how bad they are. That's metal. It's just metal. Yep. 
I think this one's worse. Holy shit, yeah, look at that one. Look at that. Wait, I don't even know which side was the pad. Okay, it was this side. Wow, dude. Yeah, that's really bad. So, we really need to replace these.